hey guys oh my days am i excited for this video how are you guys how's everybody doing so i've got some really exciting things coming up um one of them being that i have been invited to a night with a star in london so yeah guys she's actually in london so maven records and we are platoon are hosting like an event for Aira Star. It's basically like an industry event um, for everyone in the Afrobeat scene and I've been invited guys. I'm really excited. But I'm just really, really um, happy that I'm showing you guys a different side of things, a different type of video. So yeah, I think I'll try and film as much as I can, but I don't know how appropriate that will be. But I just thought I'd let you know that that's what I'm doing this week. I'm really, really excited. Aira Star's doing biz. I'm really rooting for her. She's so young, so talented. Like, obviously, I've done quite a few of her reactions as well. So it would be nice to meet her, speak to her if I can. But yeah, just being in a room full of people who are involved in the Afrobeat scene is enough for me, guys. <laughs> like that is enough for me anyways guys i'm just thinking about it yeah and i'm just thinking like if i actually meet aira what am i meant to say because knowing me i'll end up just saying something so irrelevant like <laughs> i'll be like hey yeah you're right yeah i hope you love the video guys bye
from the UK. The UK. Did you expect this type of support from the UK? No, not at all. So that's why I'm so shocked. Like the love is just a bit it's like my code. <laughs> the love is just amazing. I didn't I never expected this and I I'm just so grateful to be very honest. I'm so grateful. Yeah. So much. Um a simple question which can also be a tricky question is who is Iron Star? Iron? Yes. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a 19 year old. Whoa, whoa. I'm killing it. I'm a 19 year old. I'm dangerous. Dangerous child <laughs> that's ready to take over the world with her music because why not? Um, yeah, I'm a Nigerian, of course. Yeah. Beninese, singer, songwriter. And you know, I just love making music. And music has just always been a part of my life. And I'm just so grateful that I get to do what I love. Mm. You said music has always been a part of your life. It seem, another question would be, what has the journey been like? How did you walk this walk of, of the music industry? Even though you're 19, it must have started for you sometime. When did it start? How did it start? And what has it been like? So, um, 2019, I decided to go put my first original song on on Instagram. I did a cover and I remember just being so nervous to upload that. I, I was not going to post it. I remember posting it and I just left my phone. I was like, I don't want to see what people are saying. And when I took my phone back, there was a message from Don Jazzy. Don Papa Jazzy! You know, they come to the studio and you know, the rest, I'm, I'm here now. An album and an EP out in nine months. So. So that's the Tega Rima Veda, oh Don Jazzy, oh the boss himself, Toby. Um, it's just, I don't know, I don't know where to start from. I just, I love you guys, thank you so much. A lot of people identify your lyrical content. The fact that your lyrics are very, you know, they're very deep. Yes. Talk to me about your writing ability. Where does that come from? Yeah. And so, yeah. I write music with my brother, my yoga brother. His wow. name is... Mila, he couldn't be here today, but he's my he's my party, he's my best friend. So if anyone gets together making a video, let me just say thank you, Mila, for, <laughs> for, for doing this with me. But like, yeah, we write music together. Music has always been like our way of just running away from from real world, and we just create like our own imagination, and we just write something that was relatable. I remember I had that beat for six months. Wow. Before I recorded on, on, on the beat. I had it for six months and it was just the most challenging beat I had ever come across. It was too fast. I was like, ah, I'm not to sing on this one now. But I just kept telling London, like, don't give it to anybody. Just leave it for me. Like, I would buy stuff not to just give it to anybody. I was like, trust me, I can do something on this beat. And, you know, when I, when I, made, when I, when I made Bloody Samaritan, after having the beat for six months, I made it in one day and it was just like, before I even left the studio, my A and R Veda had already heard it. I was like, this is a jam. Yeah, I told Rima, everybody, I didn't even know Don Jazzy had heard it. I saw a message from me the next day, like Prince Martin is a jam. I was like, ooh, I knew it, I knew it. Guys, let me just tell you, yeah, that event was so sick. Like, I've just deeped a lot of things. Like, I've actually just been in a room. I've been in a room full of people who I react to like artists I actually react to and I just want to say thanks guys because without you I wouldn't have been invited there and it was just the latest night Ava Star was amazing I spoke to her she was so nice 
and she said she watches the, the channel as well which I couldn't believe but it was just an amazing night man I feel very very grateful like I literally love you guys and that's it really I'm shattered I'm going home now I am tired I'm gonna get into bed well I'm getting my uber home I'm going straight to bed and I've got an early morning tomorrow so it's a goodbye from me but I hope you love this video and guys am I dreaming like oh and my uber's here now bye guys <laughs>